Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to a new trailer reaction. This is for the new Tenet trailer, uh, Warner Brothers just released, I believe a couple hours ago. I'm so sorry that this video is a little late. Uh, I was busy doing something else, I had no time to upload one, so I'm gonna do one now. So whether people watch it or not, you know, because it's so late. Um, but yeah, so um, Tenet is a hopeful movie for the movie theater industry. Um, it hasn't moved its moved its date uh, like everything else. Uh, I believe there's a few other movies that kind of kind of are set on dates that are up and coming after Tenet. But uh, Tenet looks to be the um, movie that's gonna open up theaters after the pandemic is over. So. As you can see, I have my uh, face mask uh, to kind of, you know, when I look back at this video, you know, to kind of date it. Um, but yeah, I want to see this new trailer. Um, I'm really excited for this movie. I love Christopher Nolan movies. I have a great history with his films. Uh, I'm an IMAX projectionist. I've been running his movies on IMAX film since Dark Knight. I ran a lot of his movies on 35mm. Uh, so he, uh, his movies are a big part of my life and have allowed me to continue into this career of, you know, film exhibition and, and just, just other stuff of that nature. So, all right, let's check out this trailer. All right, let me get the volume up. So, okay, so everybody ready? Here we go. All I have, all for, I have you for you is a word. It'll open the right Zombia. doors. Some of the wrong ones, too. Use it carefully. To do what I do, I need some idea of the threat. I can see a lot of the IMAX footage. As I understand it, we're trying to prevent World War III. I'm not saying I'm again here. No. Something oh. worse. I gather you have an interest in a certain Russian national. Mike, bring me in. You really want to know? He can communicate with the future. Time travel. No, no. Inversion. Name it and pull the trigger. You're not shooting the bullet. You're catching it. Oh. Well, I've seen too much. Well, we'll, we'll try and keep up. Your duty transcends national interest. This is about survival. It seems bold. Bold, I'm fine with it. I thought you were going to say nuts. Right. How would you like to die? Oh, no. You chose the wrong profession. What well, happened here? Hasn't happened yet. There are people in the future who need us. We need a tenant. We need to save them here and now. This reversing the flow of time. Doesn't us being here now mean it never happened. You want to crash a plane, but not from the air. No such massive. Well, how big a plane? That part is a little dramatic. Wow, so it looks good. Um, yeah, that was a pretty long trailer. It was almost three minutes. Um, this movie definitely has a very Inception vibe in terms of, of I guess, the, the storyline. It's pretty original. Um, you know, as I'm used to him doing a lot of the, the comic book movies or uh, like a space drama or, 
um, you know, a war film like Dunkirk, but this is as close as we're going to get to Inception, which came out 10 years ago. I ran that in IMAX. Uh, that was not shot with IMAX cameras. It was, um, you know, an IMAX DMR blow up, unfortunately, but it still looked great, and I got to run it on IMAX film, so I think this movie comes out, it's supposed to come out a day, 10 years later, a day after Inception came out. Um, but uh, I'm still interested in the movie. It hasn't captured my full intention yet, uh, but we'll see. So, uh, but yeah, you know, if, if this movie opens up or when it does, I don't know anything. Uh, all I know is that um, uh, it's still set for July 17th, 2020. Um, uh, but uh, we're gonna have to get used to this, this this mask uh, thing. And uh, ironically, in the movie, they're wearing masks. You know, I guess for their for their uh, time reversal, time travel, whatever it is, whatever it is, the plot deals with. Uh, but we're gonna have to get used to doing this, going to the movies. It's gonna be like a whole new thing. Um, but yeah, you know, and uh, when this movie comes out, I can't wait to run it. I can't wait to project it on IMAX film. It'll be the sixth Christopher Nolan movie that I've ran in IMAX. Uh, I'm really excited for John David Washington. I think he's a you know, I hope this turns into a good pairing with him and Chris Nolan, kind of like how his father and Tony Scott were pretty good. Um, yeah, so I hope uh, this movie comes out. I hope it does really well. I hope it brings people back to the movies. Uh, whatever uh, post-COVID-19 shutdown uh, reopening is like, I, I hope uh, people really come out and, and do their part, social distance, you know, cover your face, wear gloves. I don't have any gloves, but wear gloves and, uh, you know, go see this movie. This is going to be a fresh new movie we've had in a long time. And especially go see it in the theaters because that's what this is meant for. This is Christopher Nolan. Um, you know, as he's quoted before, a movie theater is his home, you know, and for movie lovers, it's our home. It's our home to be transported to another world for two to three hours. Um, so yeah, go see this in theaters. Uh, looks good and be safe. And just uh, keep doing our part. Later, guys. Oh, and this is an 80s Die Hard production. And be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And be sure to hit that notification bell to see more videos just like this. Later. Bye.